Now the NHS scandal at Stafford Hospital raised the issue that NHS whistleblowers need to be able to speak out to ensure standards of care. Well now, thanks to whistleblowers in the private sector, a daybreak investigation has uncovered heartbreaking stories of abuse and below standard care at homes for the elderly, as Fiona Phillips found out. Three women working at three care homes all made the career-changing decision to blow the whistle. Sarah lost her job after warning of dangerously low staffing levels. We've concealed her identity as she hopes to find a new job. I can't understand how a manager or a care home can say that they've safeguarded the residents with one, just one carer at night. Catherine quit the industry after years working in many care homes. She raised the alarm about one where conditions were impossible to ignore. There were several residents, or at least two residents, who were genuinely crying because they were so, so cold and it's disgusting. They, they, they're not in that home to be cold, they're there to be looked after and cared for. Neve gave evidence in the trial of a home manager found guilty of willful neglect. She's now petitioning for compulsory training for all care workers. This home was not an isolated case. I've worked in quite a few and I know that the practices and the poor standards are commonplace. These are people's mothers and fathers, and we are neglecting them. Mm. Well, Fiona Phillips is here, along with uh, Jenny Moore, who was banned from visiting her mother-in-law to care home after making complaints. And, and Jenny, wh what exactly happened? Because you, <clears throat> I mean, uh, what I found most distressing in what I read, which probably doesn't seem at first, is that your mother-in-law was wearing other people's clothes when you went in to see, and that made you maybe shudder in a way. Mm. Yeah, I mean, sadly, that is commonplace. Um, it's not considered out of the ordinary. Um, in, in, in my eyes, oh, excuse me, I'm getting over the cold. She's got a horrible cold. <laughs> <laughs> um, a resident goes into a care home, all they have got left in the world are a few belongings, their clothes and their family. Mm. And in my situation, two of those things have been taken away from mm. my relative. What else concern you about your mother's treatment? Um, I haven't got concerns about physical abuse, as you've been covering, I believe, this week. Um, but there are, it doesn't have to be physical to be a form of abuse. No. Mm. Um, just general basic standards of care. And, and the point is you kept making, we'll, we'll hear what the care home have got to say about it yeah. actually in a minute to give it a bit of balance, but you made these <clears> complaints, <throat> didn't you, over and over and again and eventually what did they say to you, the care home? They invited you in for a meeting and said what? Yes, they invited me on another matter um, and when I went in I was faced with three members of that company and they issued me with a 12-month habitual and vexatious complainant ban. Yeah, now this eventually went to the Ombudsman and the Ombudsman came down in your favour. But I've got to ask you, I mean, did you become a nuisance? Were you, were you, were you rude to them in any way? Were you... I was never rude. As far lacking? as I was concerned, I had a very good relationship with the mm. staff there. Um, it was basic things like the commode not being emptied. She hadn't had a wash. She, um, she got out of the home twice and a member of the public brought her back. The staff didn't even know she'd got out. Yeah. Anyway, the ombudsman came down on your side, as I say, and you were eventually allowed back into the home to see her, but there was quite a gap, wasn't it? I mean, what can people do in, 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 in Jenny's circumstances if they're concerned? I mean, what's yeah. the advice? I, I so identify with that. Yeah. I used to find my mum, her nails were never done. She was, all, she was in old men's clothes That's that are just, horrible. you know, shoes were missing that you'd bought for her to make her, mm. you know, dignity is really important. You wouldn't want to sit there with someone else's clothes on, so yeah. why should someone who's older? However, so if you do have a complaint, if, if you're funding your own care, then you should go to the provider in, in the first instance. If it's council care and you su suspect abuse or neglect, which, which wasn't happening in Jenny's case, then you can call the council in. Um, but otherwise, yeah, you, you deal with the provider and, and if you're not satisfied with the provider's answers, then you do what Jenny's done and call in the local government yeah. ombudsman to you intervene kind of got to for fight, you. Though, haven't you? But well, well, Jenny spent ages doing this and it, and it because well, it's your mum, your mum has loved you, brought you up, yeah. cared for you and she's not being <coughs> cared for in the way that you yeah. want her to be and you, you become obsessed with it, don't you? And let's you? just and give a right of yeah, reply yeah, to the, to the care home, actually. Care home involved, which yes. name, but Yeah, was, yeah, well, because well, cause they, 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 did, they did ban Jenny from going in, but, she, but they say that, that Jenny is the only relative that mm. they've ever asked not to visit one of their care homes, and it wasn't because she complained about the services. Um, is what they say. The temporary restriction was pending a meeting with Mrs Moore to discuss serious concerns about her behaviour. All of Jenny's other family and friends continued to be regular visitors. Um, they said that, that the Moore family has not transferred care responsibilities because your mum is still there, isn't she? It, it, it wasn't 
it wasn't anything to do with abuse or anything. It just are these things yeah. that are important. Hey, the good thing is know. it's resolved now, but it yeah. does raise a big issue, which about is how many other people as well. Yeah. I'm grateful to you for talking about it. You're going to talk a little bit later on, I think, in the programme as well. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Really interesting. Thank you.